What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and guess what, in this video I'm gonna share with you the progress that I've made on my game engine, so let's roll it. Hey guys, I'm Hero Serrano and I've been developing my own game engine for eight years now and I'm here on YouTube now sharing with you everything that I know about game engine development. And before I get into the video, I want to invite you to join my Discord server. We are a community of game engine developers where we share what we know, we like to provide tips, and also we like to share uh, the progress of our own game engine. So if you are an indie game engine developer and you are looking for a community to join, you are more than welcome to join. Uh, I'm gonna provide the link in the description below. All right, what have I been working on for the past seven months? I needed to fix my rendering system so badly. If you see uh, the profiler that I'm showing you right now, you can see how there were some glitches in my rendering system and I was aware of them. Uh, so I decided to basically rewrite my whole system. Um, and I implemented a triple buffer. Um, I also uh, designed the system in such a way that I would be able to uh, implement a render graph in the future. Um, and now it's looking a lot better as you can see uh, you know, on the screen right now. Um, everything looks a lot smoother. There's no stuttering, there's no glitches. So I'm very happy with that. I also uh, decided to implement a G buffer render pass in my game engine. And um, that was a really cool you know, uh, uh, implementation or, or a really cool, you know, I don't know what's the name for that, but we know what I mean, right? Um, so um, that was really fun, uh, you know, to implement. Um, and so now the game engine can actually render point lights. Um, I wanted to do that. I also implemented a profiler. I needed to implement a profiler. I was putting uh, that off for a long time, but it was time for me to do that. So now I can measure uh, dynamically uh, the time that the engine is spending on each system. Aside from that, I also implemented this nice little feature called a shader hat reloading that will allow the developer view the changes that are going on with the shader right away without having to recompile the whole game engine. This is basically all what I worked on for the past seven months. Again, it doesn't seem a lot because most of the work was done on the back end of the game engine. Uh, but what, you know, what's next, right? What, you know, what are my plans for the next version? Um, well, my plans is just like with this version, I want to focus and fix the physics and the collision detection system. Um, there are some major bugs that I have to fix and some major limitations that I want to, you know, basically, um, improve. Um, so those are the things that I want to work on. And finally, I'm going to be working on implementing an editor for my game engine. I know I have been putting that off for a long time, but there was a really, a really good reason for that. Um, my logic was that I wanted to make sure that the main components of my system were like very stable and very robust before um, spending time on the editor. But now it's time to do that and I'm gonna be working on that. Um, I'm still deciding uh, whether to use ImGUI or basically write my own um, immediate mode rendering system. Um, the latter seems very fun to do, but I also see the benefits of using ImGUI. I'm still I'm still deciding you know, what to use. All right, guys, so basically that's all what I wanted to share with you. Um, if you like this video, please click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel you also, and also join my Discord server. And if you are planning to develop your own game engine, you may be looking for resources. Well, I wrote an, um, um, a blog post where I share with you all of the books that helped me develop my own game engine. The article is broken down into different sections um, and each section will basically detail the books that will help you develop a particular system. So check it out. Again, I'm gonna provide that in the description below. All right, guys, thank you so much and I'll see you next time.